Hey guys, it's me Aziza back on A Science Tree and today I'm going to be shooting a video on how to make an easy, simple and very cheap iron giant construction and this is going to be a model specifically but it can be turned into an action figure by just adding some pivot and joints and so let's begin our today's paper craft with our materials. We'll require tape, scissors and obviously just one A4 size I guess and we'll need our marker so ob obviously you'll also need some pencils and pen because this is a construction process so first up we're gonna start off with is torso okay I'm just having a google image in my side so I can see everything So this torso is like okay, I'll just leave it there. It's just this big. So that is the front piece, so I'm going to connect it up with the back piece. So there's this chest piece right there, now we're moving on to stomach part which is just a big cylinder There's that now we'll do some of the shoulder pieces. I can't tell what it looks like. Yeah, I'll just go for this kind of structure. Do a piece. Okay. And then we we're gonna need his arms so we'll just make this big I guess yeah okay so right now we're doing his arm piece so this may be a bit confusing but I'll show you guys the how it looks the template So this is one of his arm, now we'll have to copy the same there. Now comes his legs. It's the same as well. Okay, and then we need Okay, and then we'll need to make 
a sphere shape. So we'll need these kind of strips. It is cool. So we'll do the fingers and his palms thingy, which will just, I guess, will be simple. And then we'll copy it in there. So, his belt, yes, his belt. To be sure about, just add this. So, there are those stuffs. Now, I've I okay. I might I might need one more of these a for size, because it's not enough to make the legs entirely. So, okay, because these legs are a little bit bigger than the other ones. So there's that. I'll partially. Okay, so the, there's the template, but you guys cannot probably see it, so I'll just show you. So that's pretty much it. It's still not quite visible to the eye, but... Okay, I'll just place it back there. I'll cut it out and then explain every bit. So here you can see all those templates have been cut out, but most importantly I haven't made the head, so it's just basically his torso and his hands and all his stuff, but not his head. So I'll show you how to make the head in a few minutes now, so let me keep you guys back into the place where you were. Okay, there is perk stuff. All I need to do is... And just you join these stuffs together, so make my way. So first up, this torso is fine. Let's pull this piece in.
his body piece totally done. Now next up I need to put up these tops. Okay. So it's like shoulder pads. Shoulder pads are in place. I don't need this piece anymore, so. So right now I'm doing his neck. This one. I gotta roll all these four pieces and I don't want to waste your time so I'll just edit it out. Rules are pretty much done. Now I'm gonna show you a pretty cool trick of how to make a robotic hand. So I've made some cool like um, patterns. And there it is. Just like that, so you just have to fold it in the way it looks like a half cut pyramid. I don't know. And I, I gotta join it downwards. Well, let's just tape it first because I don't want it to unravel and then just disrupt my work, right? So this is his lower portion of his arm, so it's going to be like that. Probably should have made it a bit longer. Okay, no problem with this fit in there. Okay, I can, I can make it work. So another piece done. Okay, there's another piece. And what I want to do is just basically fold this like that. Fold this another one like that as well. And then I'll do that. There it is. 
is. So next up, I need to join these two like that, so it's like an arm, right? So there's his fingers that I'll just bend. I'll do that. And give it a little squish. There it is. I'll just join the hand. Okay, there's one. And there's the second one. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, to make it more sturdier, I'll just add more tape because I don't want it to like break immediately. So there's that. Now, next up is gonna be his underwear. That's not the technical term, but I don't know his exact technical term, the lower portion of his hip. So, I'll just... Okay, I, I forgot how to do that. Okay, that works. My hand came out. But it can fix itself because you know it's a simple iron giant reference. Iron giant can fix itself. And I really like that movie. Uh, it was it's very old movie of course. But still, I like it a lot. So next up, I need to give him his hips. I probably should have done this before adding the arms. Because now the arms are coming in my way. Next up is his belt.
Next thing I need to do is probably I need some more A4 pages. So there's that. Like it doesn't look great. So I'm gonna add is like lower layer. I don't know the term for that either. Ooh, it's coming to together. It's all coming together. It's looking nice. Okay, that's, that's perfect. So I need to give it some cool design. Like 3D-esque design, like that kind of stuff. So... Okay. one leg and then his other leg so these two shoulder pants that are remaining, I'm going to use them for the leg pieces. There's our iron giant's legs done, and we need to add his toes. So making toes is quite simple. I I made a new style of making toes. They're just making big cylinders, and then squishing like folding it like that and then it'll create a shape like this so yeah you can do that and then just keep them there but for extra awesomeness I'd like to give it a fold so it's actually like uh, like toes so like that
let's just stick it in there. His toes are down, so he can probably stand up now. Okay, he might stand up, but he needs a bit more balance, so I'll just push it forward like that. So there it is, he stands up now. There's no, It's not Iron Giant without his head and his iconic face. It's quite easy to make, so I'll just make it quite simply, and you won't have to... Uh, see me do it because it's quite simple you just have to do some cylinders so I tried to do the head and this is how it turned out okay wait a minute and then I couldn't make that spike thing so I just simply did that but it doesn't look that bad anyway so we'll have to work with it so Next thing, all we gotta do is attach his head to his body. Oh no. There it is. Our iron giant has been completed, so I'll give you a look at it. So there it is. Looks like a gangster robot, by the way. Let's see if it can stand up. Of course not, it's quite heavy. So, anyways, I like, I like it. I, I really do, and if you do like it, don't forget to like this video as well. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned to make something cool or got some inspiration to do some paper crafts to not waste your time during this quarantine and if you did don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video comment me down below what should i do next in my next video and share my videos thank you bye bye